Yeah, how does that look from... Um, we've got a bunch of rules that we need to use in this place. climate issues and um, kind of it dropped it in the media for um, for a long time and I mean ideally we'd like to be having a, a much bigger action um, with uh, more people in person having a proper march but obviously because of Covid we can't um, and so uh, what we're doing instead uh, we're calling it a lost protest so we've got all the placards um, and we'll be drawing um, feet <laughs> and it's as if the people have disappeared. So we are making, pretending there's people standing here and uh, with the steps protesting. So these are the feet of the protesters? Yeah, exactly, the feet of the protesters. During the whole day they will probably stay and maybe tomorrow they will disappear, but we are still protesting together. Um, that could be also like a, a metaphor of like carbon footprint. So the foot on the ground, that's an, that, that stays because what well, obviously our carbon footprint has increased even during COVID. So it's important to remind everyone that climate strike is not over and climate change is still important. Scotland in general is a very progressive country. So in that sense, I think their agenda on climate is quite bold. What we're asking the government is to be more bold. For example, the council, uh, of Stirling has, um, you know, set a target of net zero for 2045. Uh, but we know that uh, 2045 is going to be too late. Uh, so what we need and what we're asking for is to act now and act, act ambitiously and act accordingly to what the population needs. You go till then. Your humanity. I don't think it can be put off. I think that they're going to have to listen to the people. Um, otherwise, uh, there is going to be an um, incredible amount of uh, disaffection for the government. I mean, it, it was, I think, the largest issue among um, 16 to 25 year olds in, in the coming Scottish election. Um, so, I mean, it's obvious there is uh, a climate vote. People are suffering, people are dying, entire ecosystems are collapsing. We are in the beginning of a mass extinction, and all you can talk about is money and fear tales of eternal economic growth. How dare you? For more than 30 years, this science has been crystal clear. How dare you continue to look away and come here, saying that you are doing enough, when the politics and solutions needed are still nowhere in sight.